Hi, my name is Karin Ostrup, your coach and personal trainer. Today we're going to do a quick workout with a fitness ball or a body ball or a Pilates ball. I don't know any ball that has so many names as this kind of ball. My ball is a little weighted, but you, which means that it has a little bit of sand in it. But you, if you have one that has no weight, it works just as well. You may hear the sand moving around in my ball and that's just the weight of the ball. We're going to start warming up by letting the ball just be resting on next to us and start with small squats. Now, when we do this, I want you to think of your abdominals and your lower, lower back as a snapping button. You want to tighten your abdominals into your lower back and keep them there like you snap the button and keep that snapped. That's to engage your core and your balance. So, and as we squat, we make sure that our heels are anchored into the ground each time we squat down. We don't want to squat over our feet or our toes. Five more, five, very good, four, and three, and two, and one. Very good. Come here for hip rolls. Roll your hips. Feels good to loosen up in the central nervous system, which is located in our lower back. Opposite side. Five, very good. Four, three, two, and one, let's do the squats one more time. Lower yourself and get up. Remember that snapping button. Keep it tight and strong the whole time. Lower yourself. Heels anchored, butt out. Yes, don't squat over your toes. Maintain anchored heels. Five more, yes. Four, and three, this is the warm up. And two, breathtaking one ready, huh? And one, very good, hip rolls. Circle one, two, three, four, five. Let's change directions. Five, four, three, two, and one. Just a little bit more warm up and we're gonna include the ball for this. Now take it up so you have the small circles facing upwards. Here we go and we're going to keep the ball in between our hands just like I do here and you're going to rotate your arms to the side still looking at me here and then come to the center. Rotate opposite direction and come to the center. You want your hips to face forward almost like you glue your hips to me here. That's right, so it's only your upper body rotating from side to side. Try to maintain your hips forward. Your abdominals are strong and tight. The button is snapped the whole time. Five more. Oh, we should feel a little bit in our arms now. Yes. Here we go. Two and one. Short break, put the ball down. And now circle your arms. One, backwards, two, very good, three, four, one more here, and we're going to change directions. Here we go, circle, one, and two, and three, very good, and four, and the last one, nice. Pick up the ball again, bend your knees, let's pick it up, here we go, straight, Proud posture, abdominals anchored, and let's rotate. Here we go. Up, change sides. So look at me, glue your hips into mine. It's only your upper body rotating from side to side. So you get a little twist, careful twist. We're still warming up. One, two, three. We can do two more. 
four. And the last one, five. Very nice. Set the ball down. Again, hip rolls. One. Do you feel this in your arms a little bit? I do. Mine is weighted. Here we go. One more. <laughs> Opposite side. Here we go. Nice. Circle. Let loose. Open up your hips. And the last one. Very nice. Do you feel a little warmer? Do you feel we can, like we can start? I think we can. So now, we're going to start with doing squats, with regular squats, with a ball like this in between our hands. And as we squat, the ball is going to follow us. And then as we raise, the ball is coming up with us. Squat and up. Here we go. Bend your knees and come up. Keep the proud part. <laughs> keep the proud posture. Here we go. Abdominals anchored in your lower back. The button snapped. Move up and down. Five. Yes. Four. Very good. Three. And two. And one more. Very good. Short break. If you need to, shake loose, let go of the ball, get ready for one more. Wow, we've got airplanes coming around here. That's nice. Let's see. One more squat. Lower yourself, come up. One, and two, and three. Very good. And four. Let's do five more. Five, four, three. Two, just like that, and one. Very nice. Bend your knees, put the ball down. Okay, we're gonna get the pulse up a little bit, and we're gonna swing the ball. Now, again, anchor your abdominals into your lower back, bend your knees as you pick up the ball. You're sturdy in the ground, and we're gonna squat here and throw up the ball above our head. Squat and slam the door. Slam the ball. Boom. Into the ground, but you're stopping just before the ball hits the ground. This way, we engage our abdominals as well. So now you're working your legs, your abdominals, and your arms and shoulders. Five more. Five. Very good. Four. Three. Two. And one. Very good. Short break. Don't forget to drink water whenever you need to. Always, if you need longer breaks than I give you, press the pause button, have some water, shake loose, and get going again. All right? One more set of the swinging. Grab onto the ball. Raise yourself. Arms slightly above your head. Slam the ball down. And slam it down. Beautiful, just like that. Maintain that proud posture, the snap button, and your anchored heels. Yes, care for yourself. Five more, very good. Four, three, two, you can do it, and one. Ah, <sighs> increases the heart rate. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to keep it up, keep the pulse up, and we're going to do diagonal swings. So again, grab onto the ball. As you squat, the ball is here in between your legs. As you raise yourself, you throw the ball up into the air to the side, and then down to center, and then opposite side, down. Here we go. Exhale. Five, four, three, Two, one. You with me? Okay, let's do a few more. Here we go. Slam the ball down as you move sideways. You extend your legs and you slightly rotate. Five, four, three, Two and one. Very good. <sighs> Inhale, 
Get your pulse down, have a little drink if you need to. We're gonna move on and we're gonna do lunges with one leg supported on the ball. So, I'm doing this on the grass here and the grass is uneven. So, I really have to anchor my abdominals and, and engage them to keep my balance. So you put one leg on top of the ball and jump a little forward. Yes, so that you can extend that leg while you lunge out and then come up. Lunge and up. Lunge down and come up. Now, if you need to at home to hold on to something when you do that with one hand, that's quite all right. Hold on to something as you lunge up and down. And when you need to, or you can try just to let go slightly. Find more. Here we go. Four, beautiful. And three. And two, keep it with me. And the very last one. Nice, good job. If you're very advanced, you can have uh, engage or make the exercise heavier or more difficult by keeping weights in your hands. I'm doing it without weights today because I think it's hard enough today. All right, are you ready? Opposite leg, engage your abdominals and we're gonna launch out opposite leg. Hold on to something if you need to at home. Here we go. Extend your one leg and pull it up, one. Here we go, lower yourself, lunge out. Extend the knee in the back and pull it in. This is a great exercise, not only for your legs and your behind, Ooh, but also, also, you see it's a little wobbly, but also for your abdominals. As soon as you let go of your abdominals, you lose balance, just like I did right when I spoke to you there. Let's do five more. Five and four, beautiful. And three. Lunch out, deep two. And one. Oh, can really feel it here. Whole leg, lovely. We're gonna do push-ups. We're coming back to this lunch exercise in a short while. We're gonna do push-ups with the support of the ball. So what you wanna do is kind of lay down on top of the ball and put your hands into the ground and you can actually walk yourself out so you get your legs out to the ball. I'm stopping here so that you can see what I'm doing, but you can walk forward into a plank position like this. The more you have your knees, the more of your legs you have on the ball, the more support you get, the easier the exercise. The less of your legs you have on the ball, the tougher the exercise. Remember to maintain a strong, tight core. I'm gonna make this an intermediate exercise and have about half my legs. So we're gonna do push-ups from here. Strong abdominals, and let's go down for five, five, and four, very good, and three, yes, two, let's do one more and we're gonna hold, one, hold here with me if you can. If you have to take a break, do so, otherwise let's do five more, five, four, three, yes, two, and the very last one. Oh. So now, come off the ball. Take a short break, and let's get back to the lunches. Yes. So, find your position. Again, snap the button, anchor your abdominals. Here we go. Strong core. All right, let's launch out. 
The grass is a little uneven. Ah, oh, makes it more difficult. But I know this is hard just doing it on the living room floor. Beautiful. Lower yourself. Extend the back knee. Here we go. Let's do five more. And four. Yes, three. Beautiful. And two. And the very last one. Yes, chain flex. Doing it right there. Looks like you do. Here we go. Strong, tight core. I'm snapping the button. Are you? Okay, now let's go. Lower yourself. Yes. Lunch out. And remember, you are allowed to hold on to something if you need to. Here we go. Lunge. And pull yourself up. Slow it down. And up. Five more. Five. And four. Yes, beautiful. Three. And do two more. Woohoo! And the very last one. Yes. Whew. Back to push ups. We're going to do a set of 10, like we did last time, starting off with five. Resting in the plank position, still working our abdominals. And do five more. Like I said, roll over the ball. I'm just gonna climb out like this so that I don't disappear from you here. So, this is good. Let's go. Find your position and remember the more of your legs you have on the ball, the heavier it gets, or the easier it gets. The less of your legs, the heavier. So, five push-ups. Let's go. Five, and four, and three, and two, and the very last one before the break. And let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, yoo-hoo, and one. Ah, oh, beautiful. Get off the ball. Inhale. And exhale. Let's get up and swing the ball again. Here we go. Ball in between your hands. We're going to squat. The ball is down. Raise yourself. Throw the ball up in the air. Squat. Slam it down. Almost like you're chopping wood with the ball. So you want to hit the ball towards the ground, stopping right before it hits the ground. Five more. Five, four, very good. Three, two, and one. Ooh. Ball down, inhale. One more set. Pick up the ball in between your hands here. Squat, throw it up there. Slam it down. Good. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, very good. Two, and one. Short break. Bring some water. We're going to swing to the side. Here we go. Squat, swing. Swing, swing. So rotate, swing the ball up there. Squat, squat. Here we go. Five more. Four, three, two, one. Short break again. One more set. Almost through with this workout for today. Quick, but good. So take the ball in between your hands and let's get started. 
side to side swings. Squat to the side, slam it down. Here we go. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, very good. We're gonna do sit-ups. Work our abs on the ball. So what I want you to do now is to find a position on the ball where you have your lower back into the ball. So what you do from here is lean down and pull yourself up. Lean down so you roll your shoulders over the ball. Your whole back is in contact with the ball behind you. As you lay down and you exhale as you crunch. Very good. Engage. So when you go back here, it's no time to relax. No, no. If you let go of that snap button I've been talking about throughout the video, you're gonna fall off the ball. You have to work the whole time. Very good. Let's do five and four. Stay with me. And three and two and one. Very good. We're gonna do this set one more time, but first, a plank exercise, okay? So we're rolling out here again, just like we did for the push-up. Again, you can walk out on the ball so that I don't disappear from, from the camera here. I need just to get, get myself on like this. So now, tuck and tummy. And you're gonna pull the ball in and out. We'll tuck it in. So tuck the ball in underneath your body like this, and then extend your legs. In and out. In and out. Now this is a pretty advanced exercise. So you may want to take a break or just try this a couple of times. Again, it's so important to keep that button snapped in between your lower abdominals and your lower back. Five more. Five and four. Yes. Three and two and one. Oh, beautiful. This is really challenging, the whole abdominal core area. Get up on the ball for sit-ups again. Crunches. Almost through today, huh? Almost through. So tuck your tummy, anchor your abdominals, snap the button. Now lean down so that you have your lower back onto the ball, arms behind your neck, and lean and crunch. Lean back and crunch. Here we go. So you want to exhale each time you raise yourself. Each time you crunch. Let's do five more. Good. And four. And three. Very good. Two. The last one. Stay with me for one last set of plank exercise and you're through, all right? One more set. So, start from here, anchoring your abdominals into your lower spine. Snap the button again. I'm reminding all the time, but it's so important to keep it there for your balance and to protect your lower back. So again, roll. Get out where you feel 
so you have control. If you're very strong, you can have very little of a feet on the ball. If you're just beginning here, keep a lot of your knees onto the ball. Now tuck it in and roll out. Tuck the ball in, extend. Exhale, inhale. Very good. Yes, try it. Try a few times and remember, take a break if you need to, then get up on again. We're gonna do five more and you can do it. Here we go, let's start now. Five, very good. Four, just like that. Three, and two, almost through, and one. Fantastic, good job. We're through with this quick workout. Now, just do a little short stretch before I let you go. Please release your fingers behind you like this and try to extend your arms to open up your chest a little bit. We did push-ups, we worked the chest area. Now let's stretch it a little bit. From here, let's get up on our feet and open up the chest. And we're gonna do a diagonal stretch. Lean down like this. Reach for your leg. We do opposite hand like this diagonally. And look up the ceiling. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible. Just like that. If you're very stiff in your hamstrings and your knees may need to bend, that's quite all right. Try to extend them slightly. Then pull yourself up. Now let's do opposite side. Look up the ceiling or up the sky. Beautiful blue skies here today. And come up. Do a little bit of shoulder circles. And we're gonna finish off with hip rolls. Five, four, three, two, and one. Opposite side. And let's do one. And two, very good. And three, and four, and five. Very good job today. If you would like more information and see more exercise videos, hop on into karenostrup.com. It's Karen Ostrup, almost like Karen, but without a G, karenostrup.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you the next time.